And General McCaffrey, let me show you again, show everyone that picture of the president isolated at Camp David and briefing by video conference his team, which would normally be face to face in the Situation Room. Now, I know that we've all seen the difference between Zooms and in person meetings, but it conveys an isolation of this president going to Camp David this weekend and not being uh, surrounded by his team and perhaps hearing more interaction and more pushback, as well as their insistence that they needed the element of surprise to get U.S. troops out safely. You can speak to this in particular. Uh, and that's why they could not bring out some of these refugees and get the SIVs going and getting that whole process until the very last minute. Can you speak to both of those points? Yeah, well, the, uh, the photo of, of Mr. Biden sitting here alone was really bizarre. He should have gone back to the White House. He should have been engaged with his entire staff. Uh, that is very un odd, bad political optics. That, none of that's important. Look, Andrew, the only thing that's going on right now of any interest to the American uh, policy uh, apparatus is how do we get the remaining Americans through a Taliban perimeter into Kabul and out, and then withdraw the U.S. forces after them. It will all be done only at the permission and the tolerance of the uh, Taliban. They can interdict that airspace uh, probably in the next 48 hours and close down the airport. They're not going to allow SIVs and uh, Afghan CIA operatives through the perimeter and into the airfield to fly to freedom. That's all nonsense. Uh, so it's, it's hard to imagine what we're doing. But in the short run, we're in a perilous position militarily. And, uh, it, you know, if the Taliban elect to obstruct the evacuation uh, and claim it's their airspace, uh, the only option we'll have is to escalate militarily in a massive way. That's what we do, rather than leave uh, six infantry battalions on the ground in Afghanistan. So this is a very tricky situation. Um, and we should have seen this coming. I mean, this is crazy. And the interpreters and the women and children, those decisions are done. They're not coming out. 